on guys welcome back to another video and this is gonna be another lifestyle video so I have th 33 things that I no longer buy anymore I've always been a little more on the side of buying less um, or just needing less because I've always felt like I mean I didn't grow up with a ton of extra stuff or barely any extra stuff at all so uh, I guess growing up that way kind of set my mentality to the way it is now so it's much easier for me to have that minimalist mentality like naturally I had 33 things that I don't own anymore or don't buy anymore and here we go number one is candles I stopped buying candles and I used to be obsessed with buying candles for every season I would go out and buy like seven eight nine ten <laughs> different candles of the scent for that specific season um, and especially it was especially big during the holidays I love to have like that holiday smell in the house however uh, I stopped buying those a while ago when I realized they were giving me migraines and then I looked it up and I found out that they had like crazy chemicals and I was like no thank you brawls I stopped buying brawls I stopped using brawls a long time ago also because I just realized that I don't need them anymore. First of all, I am like super flat chested, as you can see, um, so I don't, I just don't see the need for me to wear them or buy them and that's to mention they're uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm wearing a sports bra um, and that is because I'm just walking around the house and my kids here and I have to have something covering up. <laughs> so yeah, so that's why I wear sports bras. And, when I go and work out and stuff like that. Um, I love to wear sports bras just around the house and stuff like that. So I do own about three sports bras, but I don't have any actual bra bras. Books. I no longer buy books and I used to be obsessed with buying books and collecting books. I had like a huge bookshelf. Actually, I had three big bookshelves where I used to just collect all my books and I did used to read them all when I had a lot more time to read on my hands. I would read a ton and I used to love to collect that actual physical hard copy of the book because I love the way books smell. If you know what I'm talking about, the whole loving the way books smells, I realized when I started like cutting back, I was like, I have way too many books. Not to mention, I had read most of them and I was just collecting them for no reason just because they were beautiful. Obviously, they were beautiful and that's why I love them. Um, but it was just really pointless for me to keep them because I would always say, oh, I'm going to read them again. I'm going to read them again. No, I really wasn't going to read them again. So, yeah, I got rid of those and I started doing ebooks and reading ebooks a lot more often. And I still do get tempted to buy a hard book, uh, but I don't. Crystals. I used to buy a lot of crystals and I actually uh, went through, I would say, like a phase where I would just buy a lot of crystals. And I stopped buying a bunch of crystals only mainly because, uh, well, for one reason is because I just didn't feel like I wanted to spend my money on that. And second, second of all, I was buying crystals because I felt like I wanted something very earthy in my home and I wanted that like vibe of you know earthiness and a natural element but I have a bunch of plants and I have like wherever I go I collect like different rocks like this is from California I get like different rocks and stuff like that and that really helps like satiate satiate my thirst or my you know desire to own crystals because I don't I didn't collect I never collected crystals um, for like the like spiritual healing of them which I know a lot of people do believe in that but that wasn't like why I did it I just did it because I thought they were beautiful but I think that I wherever I go I can find some sort of rock or some sort of earthy element that I think is as beautiful as a crystal next is nail polish I stopped buying nail polish a very long time ago wait with the exception of one nail polish and one color and that is black I love to paint my toenails black. My nail, my toenails are always black, um, and sometimes I will still paint my nails black. Uh, but that's like if I'm going somewhere like a special occasion or an event or something that I want to have my nails kind of looking a little extra fly. Um, but I don't want to get my nails done because uh, I stopped getting my nails done for a couple different reasons. One is they would just tear up my nails. Two, the chemicals going in my nail bed, like in my skin and in my bloodstream. I just got tired of it just to make my nails look cute uh three or four is it <laughs> i just couldn't stand wasting time in the nail salon i couldn't 
At, before, I used to love going to a nail salon and just sit in there and get my nails done and kind of like the little pampering feeling. But after a while, I was like, I'm spending so much time in this nail salon where I could be getting my work done, where I could be spending time with the kids, going out, doing something, and it would just take way too long. And I was like, I've had it. And as far as painting my nails goes, it's just the upkeep of having to keep my nails painted and keep them, you know, not looking chipped all the time. And I know someone's going to say, what about gel? Gel uh, tore up my nails also, and it also takes even longer than acrylics in the nail salon. Makeup. I stopped buying, like, in general makeup, even though I still do buy uh, eyebrow pencils, or one specific eyebrow pencil. I use the e.l.f eyebrow pencil and then I also buy an elf mascara that's the only makeup that I buy at the moment I stopped buying shoes in excess uh, I used to buy shoes for like every season and I used to love uh, when fall would roll around because I would buy all sorts of different booties and different just all kinds of boots Boots, boots, boots galore for me, for Mia. I would just love boots all the time. I stopped buying shoes in excess. I did recently buy a pair of sandals that are very durable. Better than like flip-flop sandals that I'm always wearing. Because, I mean, they were more expensive. But I, I've also gotten into buying things that are better quality. Rather than buying cheap stuff and trying to make them last for a long time. When I could just buy one thing and have it last a long time. Because it costs a little more and the quality is a little better. And um, and as far as boots go, I have a pair of combat boots, which I absolutely love. You guys let me know if you guys would like to see like a minimalist wardrobe tour or something like that. Or if that's like veering off way too completely off of the channel's topic. But again, lifestyle video once a week. Am I rambling? Yeah, I'm rambling, right? <laughs> so the next thing is impulse checkout buys. I used to always want to buy something at the checkout because I would see it there and I'm like, oh, I must get this pack of batteries for whatever it might be just to store it and I might need it. Or these pack of chapsticks because they're on sale. Or these gum or this candy or this chips or whatever it was. I used to be big on impulse buys. Another thing, going to Walmart, they used to have like these movie bins. I used to be huge on like just being like, ooh, they're five dollars. Let me check what I do, you know, to see what I find. I don't do that anymore. Cleaning products. I don't buy cleaning products anymore and I know some of you guys are probably like what so what do you clean your house with I don't buy cleaning products anymore I just make my own cleaning products with uh, water vinegar uh, and I use some dish soap along with that I use baking soda to clean stuff I use salt sometimes to scrub things like I have just gone very <laughs> very primitive when it comes to my cleaning and everything is very clean all the time and I don't have to worry about the fumes and you know all the fumes that are just lingering in my house from me using strong um, chemicals and I actually have cut back on using strong chemicals even before I went vegan like years and years ago uh, because uh, I noticed that it made my asthma and I have a vocal cord dysfunction which gets flared up whenever I'm around like strong smelling stuff so I stopped buying all that stuff, but altogether, pretty much all, the only detergent that I buy at the moment is uh, uh, dish detergent. Skincare products, I also don't buy anymore, and you're also probably thinking, Rose, what do you use to clean your skin? If you would like to see a skincare routine, let me know down below. But yes, yeah, so I no longer buy skincare products. I don't buy lotions, soaps. Uh, none of that stuff and actually my face has been and my skin in general has been way better like the best it ever has been and that's after I cut out all the products that I used to buy I don't buy or own clothes in excess like I don't own any extra clothes that I don't need and whenever I do buy something that I'm like super in love with um, which is usually like secondhand because I love 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 to check out like secondhand stores and just for fun and when I do find something what I do is I will buy it and then when I get home I will purge something I will donate something that way my closet is not like super full of stuff and at this point uh, I just have one drawer uh, full of my clothes and then my closet which has like some clothes and some of my winter clothes as well because I live somewhere where it gets really cold in Philly and yeah so I don't buy clothes in excess nonsense toys I don't buy my kids any nonsense toys and I really like them to have like mind-building stuff 
so basically, uh, you know, like Legos and building stuff and painting and drawing, art stuff. Um, and whenever they do get a lot of stuff because they do accumulate a lot of toys and it's like anytime there's a birthday so we're constantly like purging stuff uh, so I try to get like just little toys that she likes and she collects like little toys um, little shotguns and stuff like that so I try to get things that they really really enjoy and no nonsense toys like if we're at a store and they're like oh that looks cool and I've never heard of them being interested in it before I won't buy it um, not trying to be mean or cheap it's just because I just know how a kid's attention span works and they're gonna be like oh cool yeah and they're gonna play with it and then that's it out of mind and then it's gonna become like part of a pile of toys that they don't use extra plate sets I don't have any extra plate sets I know a lot of people own extra plate sets like for guests and when guests come over I don't own any of that I have literally just for the household I know you guys see a lot of plates and stuff like that and bowls um, and those are for just like the veggie rolls channel and cooking and stuff but I basically for our household we only have four plates and four bowls and you know a handful of mason jars uh, that we use for drinking and a few cups and that is that and then again four spoons for for forks and basically sometimes I do accumulate more than that and that's because my mom will bring over food and instead of bringing it like in Tupperware she'll bring it in a plate or like you know two plates or whatever or a bowl and then we end up accumulating her stuff like right now I have a pile of her plates that are being sent back to her house later today paper towels throw pillows fabric softeners, uh, excess decorations, like seasonal decorations, those are all things that I used to also buy a lot and I completely just stopped buying them. It all came with the mentality of me uh, going through the thought process of every time I was going to buy something, kind of like training myself, every time I was going to buy something, I would tell myself, do I really need it? Do I really want to spend my money on this? And is this just going to become clutter or is it going to be like something that I use just for a little bit of time and then it's going to be no good anymore? And that really also helped me kind of like get into the habit of not buying any of those things. Also the fabric softeners, I just feel like that's just a thing that, uh, like a chemical that I don't want in my house and that's why I stopped buying it. So that goes along with the detergents and stuff like that. Also, uh, I don't buy uh, fragrant stuff anymore. So. I don't just anything that has like fragrance I don't buy any more uh, perfumes I don't buy any more that being said I do have two perfumes that I still own um, that I've had for a very long time and I do still on occasion wear them mm, yes I know <laughs> I still wear them even though I'm saying no nothing with fragrance or yada yada I do still occasionally wear um, the perfumes that I do own because I still I still have them and they're there and I threw away a bunch of them but I didn't want to get rid of those two because it was kind of like one of those it was hard to get rid of and I didn't so I kept them um, so like I said whenever I do go out uh, and I feel like wearing something like that I get a little little flash pizzazz but I'm like real crazy about not spraying it on my skin <laughs> so I'm like only on my clothes but it makes no difference because I'm still smelling it um, but yeah did I say movies already? Well, if I didn't, I don't get movies anymore. Uh, we don't even have a DVD player because we have Netflix and we have uh, On Demand where we could just get like anything we would really want to watch from there. Purses. I don't buy purses anymore, even though I've never been a huge fan of purses, like of wearing purses, but whenever I would see a pretty purse, I would be inclined to buy it, knowing fully well that I would never actually use it. I mean, I have three purses at the moment, uh, two of which I never ever wear, but I keep them just because if I want to go somewhere on a special occasion, I want to have them. I might get rid of one, and then I have, I have my third one is like a little backpack that I do use a lot. Low quality clothes. So I try to buy a higher quality clothes because I don't want to like keep buying things over and over and over just because something I bought on the cheap was low quality and I know that sounds bougie but that's not what I mean at all um, because sometimes I'll get like a high quality item from a secondhand shop and that's not you know what I mean it's just I like to buy things that are a bit more on the higher quality end of things simply because 
uh, I only have like a select amount of things in my wardrobe and the things that I do have I'm going to be obviously wearing a lot more frequent because I don't have as much clothes as a lot of other people would have so since I have just so, so little bit of stuff I wear it a lot more often so there's a higher chance of them wearing wearing uh, wearing down um, if I get something that's on the lower quality of stuff so unnecessary kitchen gadgets and when I first started doing YouTube this one was a hard one for me because I thought that I needed to have like every kitchen gadget out there in order to do my cooking videos and do them well and I was so wrong because the same way I had been cooking forever which is with very little uh, kitchen gadgets is the same way that I cook now and I still use very little kitchen gadgets I no longer buy clothes that I only wear once so if I buy clothes uh, if I buy a dress for a special occasion it has to be something that I'm gonna be able to wear like over and over again for a couple events or um, something that I could wear like if I just want to go out on a night on the town on a date or something like that I can go ahead and wear that but I'd rather not spend my money and I honestly I do have two dresses in my closet right now that are one of those only wear once type of outfits uh, one of which I've only wear once but I bought it last year um, and then one that I bought a couple years ago and I've actually gotten to wear twice but I absolutely love that dress which is why I haven't gotten rid of it and the other one was a little pricey which is why I haven't gotten rid of it either so I'm hopeful that I will find an event to wear it to and if I don't find an event to wear it to by the end of this year I'm gonna donate it to. I no longer buy sale items or deals and this is something that me and Chris go like head to head over because sometimes there'll be a deal and he's like oh yeah let's let's get like for example like if there's like a, a two for one deal or buy this many and get this many free or whatever and he's like yeah let's do that I'm like no we don't have to that's a marketing scheme I don't want to buy into that because I don't need it I came in here to buy one toothpaste I don't have to buy a bunch of other that's just an example I don't usually see that with toothpaste but so yeah it'll be like I'm that's not something that I want to buy into because I don't need it at the time so I like to buy things when I need them and and oh that's another thing I no longer have like backups of stuff so I no longer buy like a bunch of batteries just to have as a backup and a bunch of toilet paper just to have as a backup I'll buy like four toilet papers at a time and I no longer buy toothpaste to have as a backup. I don't want to fill my house up with clutter. I get so frustrated. Let me know if I, if, am I not the only one who gets super frustrated with clutter? Like I get insanely frustrated with clutter. And once I started like the minimalizing journey a few years ago, that's when I realized like, oh my goodness, I feel so good. And this what, this is what was bothering me all along is the fact that I felt so cluttered all the time. Souvenirs. This is a big one and I just noticed this like from this coming summer, from this summer, actually from the beginning of the year on. I used to buy souvenirs everywhere we went. I used to collect souvenirs literally everywhere we went. If we went to a museum, I would buy a souvenir and I would buy these just to put them up on the tree at the end of the year because I loved the way the tree would look like with all the souvenirs of every different place we went to and I love that and I still love the way it looked because I still own all the souvenirs that we had before that we had purchased but I just stopped buying it without even noticing I mean we got to uh, like midsummer after we had taken already a couple different trips and I thought to myself I'm like oh my goodness I haven't used or I haven't bought any souvenirs all year long and then I got to thinking and I'm like should I catch up should I like you know get some stuff and order some stuff so that I can have souvenirs for these places to hang up on the tree as a symbol of we went these places and I was like you know what no if I haven't needed it and I felt just fine you know going on our vacations and going to these places and doing good without having them and buying them at the moment I don't need them now that we're not even there anymore and at the end of the year I'll just you know go through pictures or think about all the different places we went to instead of having to have it all on my tree luggage we don't own any luggage and I know you're probably thinking how do you travel if you don't own any luggage and the reason we don't own any luggage is one I think that luggage is super overpriced like ridiculously overpriced for no reason 
And uh, second of all, uh, whenever we do travel, we travel really light, like we pack light. And um, we don't, we just, well, the only person in this house who has a ton of clothes is Chris because he is not a minimalist at all. <laughs> so he just collects a bunch of clothes. Um, so whenever we do travel, we pack really light. So he's learned to pack really light too, which is awesome. Um, so we'll carry backpacks and we just travel that way. And we actually just recently, when we recently went to Florida, we all took a backpack and we had four backpacks. We didn't even have to pay for extra uh, luggage to be like checked um, into the plane. And we put our backpacks under the seat and it worked out just fine. And we were in Florida for like a little over a week or maybe a week or so. And we were doing just fine. We did just fine. I washed clothes while we were out there. Everything worked out just fine. We didn't need any luggage and I still feel like I don't need it. Second to last, we're coming to the end now, is on trend things. I don't buy things just because they're trendy. I don't buy things just because, you know, I saw a celebrity or somebody on a reality show or on Instagram and they're wearing it or they have it. I don't buy things just because it's a trend. You know what I mean? Uh, it's just... I've never been a huge one for following different trends. That's just not my stilo. <laughs> I mean, to each his own, of course. Uh, but not my cup of tea and lastly is tupperware i don't own tupperware because i just i don't know i just don't do it and if i ever need to save anything in my fridge i will literally put it with the pots in the fridge and i won't put it into tupperware and i will eat it just like that i will take it out heat it from the actual pot and I don't have to dirty another plate. I don't have to have a bunch of extra Tupperware falling out of my cabinet. I do have uh, two like uh, lunch box, like Tupperware type of things. And that's for Mia and for Jaden uh, for their lunches. But other than that, we don't own any Tupperware. And if I ever need to really put something away for a little while, we have mason jars and we use that. I also have uh, some casserole dishes that I use for baking that have lids on them and I use those as Tupperware. And yeah, so if you have been watching this far, I highly, highly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And if you've been watching this long, you might as well give this video a thumbs up because if you're watching this long, you probably like this type of video. So let me know if you like this type of video. Let me know if you guys are minimalist, if you guys stop buying anything. Even if you're not a minimalist, let me know why not. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys very soon. I love you all. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.